It's Sunday, April 12th, about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is going to be probably the last video walkthrough until we actually own this place. You can hear leaf blowing sounds off in the background. You can, I can smell smoke. People are having burning some leaves and other debris. <coughs> Tweeting birds and the, some sports practice going off at the middle school across the lake. <clears throat> Unless something happens with respect to the occupancy permit of the mortgage, the closing will be a week from Tuesday, and our move-in date we've scheduled for the sun Tuesday after that. So April 28th, we should be able to stand, sleep over here, and the nice empty house will be filled with a whole lot of boxes. There's still some snow on the ground in a few places, even though it's April. We are also on the 28, 21st going to be buying that adjacent parcel and 15 other acres for the Baroness Misco Hill. There's a few touch-up things that need to be done. The electrical work is supposed to get finished up on Tuesday. A couple lights are fixed, need, need setting. <coughs> a couple bulbs out, things like that. But most of the lights now work. The water hasn't been turned on, so the plumbing isn't set up yet. Because of all the mud, Mike set up this fake pathway, so we'll go in the front door. One of the new things is our fans. The fans are now fanning. They are very quiet, and we have a considerable amount of airflow coming through. Mike's talking to Trish off in the back room. Cutting around to the dining room. The chandelier works. All the film is off all the windows, so we'll have a good view outside. One of the things that will be happening on Tuesday is we will have the extension pole for our fan, our insect wing fan, and that should be going in here. View out the bedroom window. You can see a bit of the fan and how it's going to look. Trish has a closet. And you can see some shelves have been put up. There's our granite countertop. And you get to see the different colors of the granite, the wood, the tile floor, and the tile on the, on the bathtub. Light up there. Still to go up is the purple star, but they have now put in the box that it's going to be hanging from. This light is now on, and the one's over at the vanity in the bathroom. Light fixtures in the plumbing, I mean the water fixtures.
we can definitely no longer cut through the wall to get into the great room, so we have to go back around. floor. You out the back. the spot in the floor where the Ethernet cable is in, not the other one. And here's, we got the mud room, that's over to be off, it's got to be up, or that one has to be up. You can see labels, all of the Ethernet so of Cat5 ports, Cat6 ports are labeled. Basement. Yeah. So it's some stuff like a light switch. Yeah, it's yeah, it really has to be the hotel across the yard. That's the sort of thing I usually have. Okay, so what's the next one? Yeah, but I will tell I will I will tell Kevin. So it's that one. Now you get to see the patch panel. Up on the top it has numbers corresponding to the wires and the um in the house, and then there's also a future expansion place for the video feed for the cameras, and then the volume one is probably it's for the surround sound stereo system. Electrical outlet. This is a standard rack that you can put a components into. It's what. Uh, then there's this middle spool of wires. Not quite sure what that's for. Probably uh, it's one of the questions I'm going to have for Jason and. Lars, and you can see the circuit breaker panel with different labels and things. <clears throat> Utility area, more areas off there, furnace area. View outside one of the windows. The neighbor's house, we went and met the two new neighbors, two older guys. They have a small Maltese white yappy dog who wasn't too yappy. Trish made nice to him. Looking out the back, more light switches. So you can turn them on and off. We'll work our way upstairs. Downstairs. Bet they won't leave all those nifty tools for me to play with when they leave. Back door. Looking back up. That will eventually be Trisha's work area. We also now have the right electrical plugs for charging electric cars. That's a 220 circuit, I guess. They did some painting, touch-up painting here and there that we were able to enjoy. Say hi to your admiring audience. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and see what the wooden the stairs looks like. So we've that. Uh, 
electrical is signed off. Uh, plumber, you're okay. Bedroom. Guest bedroom upstairs. Take a look outside. Closet has some racks in. Bedroom's all set. Water's not turned on yet. That's something that'll happen in the next couple days. Two windows out the side. Looking into Trisha's office. This is the view out Trisha's window. She has a view out the front and the back. as well as a whole lot of doors and light switches and things. Looking out the front driveway. Look into my office. Trisha's electrical and ethernet set up. So she has a four plug and then the first four ethernet cable drops. Going into my office. And they have the access to the attic open for some reason. I went up there and took pictures with the flash. There's no point in my going up there because this camera, the iPad, wouldn't have enough. So, oh, one other thing to take a look at. The chandelier looking in the hallway going downstairs. Another view of the fan. And we'll finish up with looking out my window, the front yard and the driveway. Lots of construction stuff at the moment. And that's it for this week.